Hello, it's Nick. Today I will show you how to design auto-scrolling looped image carousel in Figma. I will use these four images for my carousel. And first, I will add a frame for the screen. I will use a desktop frame. Name the frame Slide 1. You can see that the images are much larger than my frame, so I need to resize my images. Select all four images. Switch to scale mode, make the images smaller. I will make the images proportional to the size of the desktop frame. Now we face another problem. All images are in different size. Instead of editing each image, I will follow a different approach. Add another frame, set its size 700 by 500, name it 1, and create three copies of this frame. and start drag and drop images into the frames. The image will be clipped automatically to fit the frame. But be sure to check that the clip content is checked. The great thing about this approach is that you can position and fine-tune the images in the frame the way you like it. Once you create a collection of four frames, copy first and second frames and put them at the end. I will show you why you need this in a moment. Select all six frames. Click Distribute Horizontal Spacing to get equal spacing between them. And click the Vertical Alignment to vertical align them. Reduce spacing between items to 64. And add the items to the group. Name the group Gallery. Drag and drop the group into the main frame, slide 1. Ensure that the first image is aligned at the left edge of the main frame. I will use ellipse to create 3D effect. Draw ellipse and position it at the top of the main frame. Ellipse should be slightly wider than the main frame. Copy the ellipse and position the copy at the bottom. In the left side panel, select both ellipses and drag them to the main frame. Change the color of the ellipses to white. Ensure you don't have sharp edges at the intersection of images and ellipses. If you do, simply make ellipses slightly wider. Create two copies of the main frame. Name them Slide 2 and slide 3. Select gallery object in the slide 2, press shift and left arrow key to move them horizontally to the left. I will scroll down to the fourth image of the gallery. Ensure that the fourth image is aligned at the right edge of the main frame. And finally, let's do the same with slider 3. But this time, I need to scroll to the end of the gallery and show frames 5 and 6. Those are the copies of first two images we added to the end of the gallery. Ensure that the image is aligned at the left edge of the main frame. This will help us simulate a rotation loop. Switch to the prototype mode. Create a transition between slide 1 and slide 2 frames. Transition will be triggered after delay of 1 millisecond. Smart animate. Linear curve. Linear because it makes the speed consistent from start to finish of the animation. Duration 7000 millisecond. This long duration will give the user enough time to view images in gallery. Create another transition between slide 2 and slide 3. All animation properties will be the same. Finally, create a transition between slide 3 and slide 1. Transition will be triggered after delay of 1 millisecond, but animation will be instant. 
So basically, it's an instant return to the original position. Let's test our design. Select the slide 1 and click Preview. Looks great. Let me know what you think about this design in the comments. Thank you.